Tonight, Defiance is remembering a local fire chief who died while serving his community. Maya May talked to so many people who say he dedicated his life to helping others and he impacted hundreds along the way. How Matthew Hannencraft wore many titles and was a leader in his community, which is why many people at his funeral say it was one of the biggest they've ever seen. Chris Malhoyt says as a bagpiper with the honor guard, he has been to hundreds of funerals, but this one was different. The numbers, the numbers of uh, first responders that turned out was very impressive, very impressive. But much of the Defiance community wasn't surprised. They say Hannencraft was a true hero and leader. The South Richland Fire Chief also served as an assistant fire chief in Highland Township, and a local teacher says he was one of the most active fathers. As president of our school board, I felt that he had a real interest in our community, school community and um, had commitment to them. After giving the community a way to say goodbye, the chief's family said goodbye to their husband, father, co-worker, and friend. A member of the United States Honor Flag says Matt's legacy will live on. These men and women are going to come answer that call, and the community understands that. So the folks that were along the street, they know that. And they've been impacted not just by Matt, but his entire family. And Malhoyt says no one will forget this proper send-off. Fire departments and police departments and sheriff's departments from all over really came out in force. It was nice to see. Reporting in Defiance, Maya May for WTOL 11. And if you have been through Defiance, you have definitely seen those flags flying at half staff to honor Hannah Kraft. That continues through sunset tonight. That was a proclamation made by Ohio Governor Mike DeWine.